So now let's work with the animation engine inside of Element 3D. So let's choose a group for that. So I'm going to create um, a new scene and I'm going to choose uh, some objects. So let's go on to the starter pack right here. And let's say I want to choose two groups. So what I want to do is I'm going to select this spray can right here. This will be my first object right there. And I'm going to select another group one um, that is the soda can right here. So I got two objects right here. So what I want to do is I want to animate uh, from the first object to the next. So I'm just going to just click and drag this out over here, uh, both the objects, and I'm going to delete the group folder. And what I'm going to do is keep one object in group one and the other object in group two. So I can animate from this to this, like a morph animation. So I'm going to press OK, and you can see that both of the objects actually appear over here. So I'm going to create a new camera right here so that I can navigate around and see it much closely. So I'm going to click around the unified camera tool right here, zoom it in just like this, and drag it out so I can see it in much detail. So I'm going to go into solid layer right here, and uh, I have one of my object in group one while other in group two. So now what I want to do is I want to work with the animation engine and right now it's disabled. You can see that now I can select the start group to finish group over here and there are groups. So I want the group one to be the start of the animation while group two is the end. Once I enable it out, we can see that the second group actually disappears and you have an animation handle right here. And as I move along the slider, you can see that the first object changes into the next object, just like that. that it just dissolves onto the next object, just like that, as you can see. So there are animation, there's radial type of an animation right here. Don't see much change over here because we haven't had another object. So I'm going to have a uniform just like this. So now let us work around even further. So I'm going to go into particle replicator and over here, let us choose something like a spear. And let's say I want the particle count uh, to be around 12, just like this. So all of the bottles are there all together, as you can see right here. So now on my group two, remember that the number of particles is 12. I'm just going to uh, collapse this and expand the group two, and I'm going to increase the particle replicator. I'm going to have 12 particle count for this one as well. And let's say for this one, it's going to be a plane. All right. So now uh, let me just turn off the uh, animation engine right here. Let's see how they are stacked up. So the bottles over here are going to fly up and gonna create that out over here. So on the group one, I have this spray bottle cans while on the group two, I got those bottle cans over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this now. And I, as I move along the slider, you can see that all of the bottles move into place and they transform into these bottles right here and arrange it out just like this. So it looks kind of cool as you can see right here. And all of this is done uh, quite easily. So there's the uniform, there's directional type of an animation. You can see that now there's a directional animation right there. It goes from left to, left to right, as you can see right here. There's also radial type of an animation. So everything goes in, an, in a round just like this. And over here, there's random type of an animation. So all of it arrange it randomly and in the shape order as well. So arrange it according to the shape, just like that. So you can also increase the smoothness of the animation right here. So you can see that everything arranges it at the same time. You can also increase the randomness. So all of them happen at a different rate. Decrease the smoothness and you can see that everything happens randomly now, just like that. If you were to increase the randomness over here, let me just decrease this increase the smoothness to around 40%. Uh, All right, there you go. So you can see that these are the options that you can work with. You can use an A's in and A's out animation right here. You can uh, work with the start groups and so forth. So now I can simply add a keyframe to this. So I'm going to go around with the animation. I'm going to right click and I'm going to reveal this in timeline so that I can actually see it over here. It's already here. Let me just collapse this out and then reveal it in timeline. So I'm going to go over here into animation. I'm going to reveal it in timeline. So it actually comes up over here as you can see. So now uh, in the animation, 
I'm going to add in a keyframe to this. So over here, this is my group one, group two, and over here I'm going to have something like a radial type of an animation. So I'm going to click on animation, I'm going to go into four seconds right here and increase the animation just like this. So now I have this type of an animation right there. So all of the cans, tin cans, they're arranging it out in the same order. And that looks cool. So that was done quite easily quite fast. So that is how you can work with the animation engine inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.